Hi, welcome to Pastor Talk. I'm Pastor Steve. In our last video, we finished up the end of chapter 5 of Hebrews. The Lord is rebuking the, the church, the early church at that time, and it's a rebuke to us if we're in the same condition. They had not matured. They had not grown in the things of God. They didn't come to a place to where they could really make the right choices. They weren't sensitive to spiritual things. Therefore, they weren't sensitive to where they could discern, he says, good from evil. And what he was saying is they should be able to judge by now the difference of good from evil from what they know in the scriptures and from being sensitive in the spirit realm of the things that they're hearing and seeing, that they ought to be sensitive to what's good and evil. You may not be able to figure it out in your mind, but you should be sensitive by your spiritual senses to discern these things. And then he comes back in chapter 6 and he continues on and he says this in chapter 6. He says, therefore, now anytime you see a therefore, it means that he's gone on to a new thought but it's still connected to what he just said. Now, he just rebuked them because they weren't maturing enough to grow up and have their senses, uh, you know, matured as they should, their spiritual senses. And then he says, therefore, let's read what he says in chapter 6. Therefore, verse 1, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, the teaching of Christ, let us go on unto perfection. In other words, completion. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptisms and of laying on of hands, and of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And this will we do if God permit. All right, so he comes back and he says, You haven't matured, and I'm not happy with you, basically. You should by now be able to have your senses used enough, your spiritual senses, that you can discern good from evil. Therefore, and the first words is, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ. And what he does is he names some of the basic principles. Water baptisms, Holy Spirit baptism, the different baptisms. He speaks here of laying on of hands. He speaks here of repentance from dead works. We should know that we repent if we're not doing the work of God the way we should. We should turn from that, repentance. And he speaks of eternal judgment. I, we all need to have understanding of eternal judgment. So I guess the first part what I would say to you that for you to be mature, as he says, then you would first of all, you'd at least have the, the principles, the, the basic principles of the doctrine of Christ. And that's what he starts the sentence off with in verse 1 of chapter 6 of Hebrews. Have you come to a place to where you could explain and express to someone about what the scriptures say about these subjects? You see, you, you must think, you must consider, you must look at the different areas in the Bible and you must think about what they mean. Do you understand different words of the Bible? Do you understand the word sanctification? Do you understand what, he, what it means by, by uh, eternal judgment? What is eternal judgment? Have you looked, what does the scripture say about that? And so he's telling them now that they, they should have these basic doctrines of Christ understood if they're growing up in the Lord, maturing as they should. And he says, now let's leave the basic doctrines and let's go on to the deeper things of God. Let us go on from the repentance of dead works. And that was one of the things he said they should understand. In other words, uh, our works should not be dead. Our faith should be an active faith. Faith in God, he said, mentions toward God. Let's move on. And that's what he's suggesting to them here. But what I want to mention to you and focus on more than anything is the third verse. Once we have understanding that he wants us to move on from these principles, listen to verse 3 again. And this will we do if God permit. And this will we do. In other words, we'll move on from the basic principles of the doctrine of Christ, the teachings of Christ, if God permit. Now, if I stop and consider that for a moment, it tells me something. It tells me that I can't, in my human ability, cannot move on unless God allows me to move on. There's something we need to understand, and it's take, it takes us a long time to finally grasp it. But just knowing some scriptures intellectually and mentally knowing scriptures, even if we memorize them, does not give us spiritual understanding of the things that we need to grow, to grow in Christ. 
You see, we need revelation of the things of God. Isaiah tells us in chapter 55 that, that God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. They're much higher than our ways and our thoughts, he says, speaking for God. We need to understand that we cannot mature, we cannot grow, that, that that's something we can't make happen other than just be obedient and active in our faith and try to walk the talk. We need to study our scriptures. We need to pray. We need to spend time with God. We need to work on our relationship with others and, and be active in our faith and active in the church and, and do all those things that, uh, that we need to do. But as far as mature, maturing and having spiritual growth and understanding of some of the deeper things of God, we need revelation from God. The Apostle Paul mentions in Ephesians uh, in one of his prayers, he said he'd been praying for them that their spiritual eyes would be open. You see, we have spiritual eyes with spiritual senses. That's kind of where we started with the last, uh, end of the last chapter. He wants us to learn to use our spiritual senses. We have spiritual eyes and we can't even see the things of the kingdom without those spiritual eyes opened. That begins at spiritual birth when we get a spirit from God that gives us the ability to recognize there's a spirit realm. But God desires for us to move on to deeper things, deeper understanding, to a completeness in Christ, to where we move on from the basic doctrines, the teachings of Christ, the basic uh, things that we should understand after years of study. We finally should understand those things and be able to move on to the deeper things where we can have more revelation, where we can be more effective in teaching and, and helping others and help others to grow in the things of God, where we can express our doctrine to others and teachings to others because we have been taught of God, that we have revelation from God and have spiritual insight into things. Well, I want to just read that one more time. And this will we do if God permit. When you're studying the Word of God, ask God to help you to understand more. Ask Him to fill you afresh with His Spirit. Ask Him to open your spiritual eyes. Tell Him you desire to move on with Him. And if that be His will, He will permit you to do that. If you have walked the talk and walked in faith and been active in the spiritual realm the way you should, seeking truth and desiring to please God, He'll permit it. Well, this is Pastor Talk for you. And I'm Pastor Steve, and God bless you.